Three, two, one. All right. I hope everybody's doing pretty good. I'd like to come on and I'd like to talk a little bit about Passover. Uh, expectations. You know, everybody's got expectations. You know, um, I took notes and shit. All right. We oh, paper cut. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so, yeah, a little bit of humor, try to light it up, you know, it's corny, I know, I get that a lot, yeah, one out of ten hits, right? Okay, so, first off, I want to open up, you know, uh, and I want to state a couple of things, I'd like to start with the declaration, the well, declaration is, we do not want to deny anyone the opportunity to participate in the Passover held in Utah. Okay? I don't want anybody to think you said something bad about me. There's no way I'm showing up. I, you know, if you have those feelings, you have those feelings. This, having this Passover, it is not about me. It is not Lex Will's birthday party. It, 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 is, it, it is nothing like that. This is about you, the people, the Afro Asiatic people here in America. All right, this is this is this is not some event that I, I could deny anybody anything. But the main participants, if this has to be done with the animal, this has to be done, if it has to be read, those participants must be Afro-Asiatic. There, there is no, well, we're one guy shy. Well, fuck it, we're, we're one guy shy. There is no substitutes, you know. Um, uh, I don't want anyone to feel left out, nor do I want anyone uh, to not participate because they feel animosity, amnity, uh, 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 or at odds or against, uh, or, or ad, ad, adversarial. I cannot reinforce this enough. Someone created us. Period. Like, if you've heard me say something bad about, uh, or if you feel I've said something bad about uh, Phoenix, which I have, you know, if, 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 if that person attends, that's great. All these people. Because, again, this is not some birthday party or anything like that. Now, if you're from these Bible camps, I, I truly, I truly invite you to come. There, there, there is no people from GOCC who kind of attend, or people from this, or ISU. You know, I really don't care about that stuff. Look, we're there to serve the Most High. And with saying that, I, I don't care if it's, it's, the Watchmen family, you know, I, I, I don't think they would. But I'm just saying, the invitation is open to all, not Charles Manson. You, but you understand what I'm saying. I mean, there's there's clearly a list of people that just shouldn't go, you know, like, you know, but whatever. I, 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 I I'm not... I'm not going to be the one that stands between people and the Most High. I'm not going to sit there and, and argue with people so 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 they feel there's going to be a problem if they want, if they even thought they wanted to attend. You know, I, I want people to be able to do this because they've been denied. So, when we look at Ezekiel 36, when that being said, the whole chapter, everywhere you went, to and fro, you blaspheme my name. We must agree on one name. 
I, I, I can't help it. I mean, the first commandment, this is not about some lesson. These are about rules. The first commandment is no other God. I've never heard one man say, uh, pray to Abraham uh, uh, in the name of Abraham for, for, for the most high. I pray in the name of Isaac. I pray in the name of Jacob. I've never heard anybody say anything like that. Never heard anybody bring up Moses before prayer or anything. So I truly do not condone anything like that. Like I, I, let's be honest, there's nothing I could do. But you'll have all the other people there that will not appreciate other people attempting to poison. Their moment. So, what can we do? We can open up the Bible. It is the 25th. We have roughly four months to read the Bible. Read the books, take it out of the Bible, classify it as the Apocrypha, and bring up all the holy occasions that we can. We can invest our time in them, understand what exactly would, what is needed, and we can delegate people into those positions before we go there. And that's what we can do. You know, we can prepare. Now, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Um, you know, I uh, I got into a habit of naming videos weird titles because uh, I felt, you know, people came by and they just pruned here and pruned there, you know, and I, and I noticed people, even myself, you know, I won't watch a video unless it's got catfish, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, 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 something to bait me in, whether it's the title or the picture. And, you know, I, I, I decided I was going to go against that, you know. Um, and I start to hear uh, a lot more than usual. I, uh, I, I came here because somebody told me to. You know, so word of mouth does work, you know. So, um I, I don't care if you hit the like button. I don't care if you subscribe. Um, what I do care about is if uh, if you tell your, your friends, you know, um, if you show your friends. Uh, I think it's funny that when I go and I make these videos and I title things, uh, with catchy names, you know, uh, it, 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 it gets up, uh, it, it gets numbers fast, you know, um, and, and when I'm direct with the titles, I get responses, and I want to show you that, uh, I think it's funny, you know, um, that, uh, when I say directly, Let's discuss the Passover. Now, you know, these numbers look steady and constant. You know, I, I don't really give a shit about the numbers. Uh, but, again, dark age figure painting. Right? And if we held the Passover in Utah. And, and I want you to hear something. I, th I think it's very interesting. Now... If we say Exodus 20, right? And we go into Exodus 20, and it, it doesn't matter which one, right? We just go into Exodus 20. And as we go into Exodus 20, we're going to go down here, and it says, that you're not to make any graven image, right? You're not to have any other gods. No graven images is not to serve them. 
not to bow yourself down to them. For he, he states, For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments now i think it's funny when i sit here and i make all these videos about different subjects that have to do with the bible but the most important subject is our covenant I think it's funny that, you know, when you deal with such a topic that people choose to not participate. Because he states himself, right? Them that love me. And this is why I state, you know, this isn't about, you know, hang out with Lexwell or you know, hang out with everybody else. This is really about our moment with the Most High. You know, when you think about a wedding, I'm going to have a wedding, okay? Um, and you think, what is the the most important moment going to be in in my wedding? You know, um. I think I think that's that that comes to mind uh, for me. You know, what's the most uh, uh, metaphorically speaking, looking at the Passover as a wedding? You know, there are wonderful things that happen uh, at an event like this all of us coming from different areas you have to think in the past the passover was held and um you know of course things in the past aren't are, are revealing themselves we don't know if they had cars if it was just wagons if it was uh chariots deluxe wagons you know yeah, you know we don't, we don't we don't know exactly how they all traveled but we do know as long as the temple stood for hundreds of years, everybody in the continent, at least, that had to do with Israel, not just the country. Remember, a lot of your countrymen went outside of your country. They all came back to celebrate Passover. Now, when we think about these kinds of things, in our dedication to the Most High, I mean, you've got to understand what I'm saying. I live in Ohio. Mark lives in Florida. This is not like we're just going to drive 5, 10 miles. It's not like we're going to drive 50 miles and, and, and be there. We've got to go a long way, and then we've got to figure out a few things in preparation. You know, there's nothing there. So, again, there's, there's, there's a city there. So if you want to go to the city and, and, and deal with the hotel and stuff, hey, that's fine. Uh, if you want to deal with camping and, and camping gear, I'm all for that. That is what uh, I believe we are going to try to do. I think we're going to try to, to camp it out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get into the, 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 the Passover a little bit um, and see... Uh, what it takes for a few of us to get here uh, and, and, and try to get some kind of understanding. Now, a lot of the things that we uh, understand spiritually, religiously, we have learned from other people, especially from Christians. Mom and dad rarely sat us down and had us open up the Bible and read ourselves. For the most part, a lot of us were introduced to the Bible, introduced to the concept of God, even introduced to the concept of minor gods like Jesus through churches, through preachers, through Sunday school, things like that. Now, for us to understand the concept, it's not going to hurt us to have some Christian idea. 
of what's going on, meaning the encyclopedia. So today we're going to start with the encyclopedia excerpt of, of what they believe the Passover is. And again, we have four months, we have plenty of time to get into the Exodus and read it for ourselves with, again, many Bibles. All right, so <clears throat> first off, we're dealing with the Exodus, all right? And the Exodus comes uh, travel, <laughs> right? So, of course, we had to walk today. We'd have to estimate our trip. Now, first thing we have to do is we'd have to say, when is Passover? Now, we'll just do a shortcut, all right? And again, these videos will be updated as we go. So don't watch this video and say, this is all the info I need. You know, we'll, 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 we'll get all the way there. All right. So when we get into Passover, it says, In the first month of the 14th day, at the, at the dusk is the Lord's Passover. On the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now, in the first month, the 14th day of the month, at dusk, they claim is the Passover. The next day, the 15th day, is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Unleavened bread. Seven days shall eat unleavened bread. In the first day, he shall have a holy convocation. Pardon me. We'll just pop one of these open. I went to a city school. This is not about you. Ah, uh -huh, right? I went to Firestone. I went to the school Judy Resnick went to. A convocation. A large formal assembly of people. The action of calling people together for a large formal assembly. Oh shit, that's, we're doing that. Okay, yeah. Step one, check. All right, all right. Convocation. All right, got it. So, first, do, 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 do. where were we? I don't remember. We're lost. We're lost in the page. Okay, I think we're here. Yeah, yeah, we're down here. There. Convocation. All right. So, in the first day, you shall have a holy convocation, and ye shall do no manner of servile work. So, if the first day is just a relaxing, playful day for us. All right? We just sit back, read, get to know each other, share some stories. You know, build, building, you know, bond a little bit. And ye shall bring an offering made by fire unto the Lord seven days. And the seventh day is the is a holy convocation, and ye shall do no manner of work. So, the first day and on the seventh day, it is the same. Right? So, When we look at the Passover and we say we're going to com commit to these seven days, right? Uh, I don't. Uh, I I don't know what you have going on in your life, you know. Um, some people have cats. Some people have dogs. I don't want to get into that. Um, you know, because then everybody's offended. Um. Uh, you know, some some people live in bad neighborhoods. They don't know if they can be away from that home, from home that long. Uh, again, if if we leave from Ohio and it takes us two to three days to get out there, then we're gonna be out there seven days. You know, and then it takes us three three days to get back. That's that's two weeks. Okay, 
you know, if we fly out there, blah, 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 you know, it's, 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 it's a day of flight, you know, seven days, fly back one day and you're gone nine days, you know, um, these are your options, you know, if you take a bus, it's three day ride, you've already heard what happens that way, right? Yeah, it's, it's six days plus the seven days, so that's 13 days, right? So, all right, so these are our options for travel, right? So uh, I'll just briefly go over like a few different ways. Um, I will say uh, when we look at Utah, all right, I don't want these three up there no more. Look at Utah. Uh, let's go to maps. All right, so. There we go, the zoom's working now all of a sudden. Yuba. Ephraim, there we go. Moroni, Moron, Moroni. Okay, so we will be looking around the Parowan area. And remember, if you're talking seven days, um, this is an excellent time for people to, you know, um, investigate the area. Uh, you have the city of Enoch here. Uh, already know there's Cedar City. There's Zion National Park. Um, now, if you are flying in, it's probably you're probably going to be looking for St. George. If you can't find a flight to St. George, you're probably going to find a flight to Salt Lake City. Uh, and then from Salt Lake City, you might be able to find a small flight to St. George. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to find a flight for, for to city, Cedar City. Now, again, this is four months in advance, okay? So you do have uh, the option of finding something that's uh, affordable. You know, it's not like you have to uh, wait till the last minute and, and then pay, you know, $500, $700, you know. Um, so, again, don't be emotional about some of the things that you see that, that are being broadcast. A lot of us have done a lot of things in our lives and we've, we've, we've changed our lives or we're attempting to change our lives away from what we're doing, you know, um, or what we've done, you know, so... Again, when you see uh, somebody's broadcast, especially, you know, of course mine, uh, uh, other people's broadcasts. If somebody says, hey, I'm thinking about going out to Utah, and then, you know, five days later they make some really, uh, you know, video, some video that makes you unhappy, you know, you know, uh, you know try to, try to, try to keep your emotions in. So let's all try to keep our emotions in check for the next for a couple of months so that, you uh, you know, it opens up more opportunity for us to, to all gather amongst each other. You know, I hear a lot of people saying, you know, uh, tribe up, gather together, you know, uh, uh, we need to separate, you know, all kinds of things. Um, you know, and face to face, we can lay down a lot of options for people that you really can't broadcast, uh, uh, you know, period. So. I live in Akron, so if I took Greyhound, uh, I would be looking at, uh, again, Greyhound. I would say uh, I was going from uh, Akron. Yeah, that's it. Just put in whatever you want. So I would go from Akron and I would want to go to Utah, right? So I would just type in Utah and I would see what options it gave me. So there you have Cedar City already, right?
Boy, this thing is fast when you deal with the scroll. All right, so you have Cedar City, and that's pretty much where you're going to pick. You can see that, you know, Eber City right there, right? Um, Ogden, right? Oh, there you go, Pier 1, right there. See? I was just going to say, oh, there's Cedar City. I'm going to click on that. But I kept scrolling, and look, Parowan is right there. Look at that. Who would ever think? So when it comes to depart and return, so let's say we saw the Passover is 14 days. Do, 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 14 days of the month, right? Of the first month. Now, we know the first month is when the equinox, okay? Equinox is commonly regarded as the instant of time when the plane, why they show a globe? <laughs> when the plane of Earth's equator passes through the center. Of the yeah, dude, whatever. All right, so equal day, equal night, dude. You see the, you see the picture, right? Ah, equal day, equal night. The moment the September equinox is when the sun appears to cross the celestial equator heading southward due to the differences between the calendar year. All right, so again, they're going to get into the calendar year and fucking Gregorian calendar don't have shit to do with it, right? All right, so that's the one in September. We're looking for the one that's in March. That's the, what, the vernal? Or where's that? Uh, here we go. March 21st. Okay, so uh, March equinox or northward equinox is what we're looking for. This is the start of spring. Okay, so um, the subpolar point appears to leave the sun polar hemisphere across the celestial equator heading towards the inner, whatever is known as the ver vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere okay so what we get is the length of equinoquial <laughs> equinoquial day and night all right so day is usually defined as the period of sunlight that reaches the ground in the absence of local obstructs uh obstacles on the day of the equinox the center of the sun spins roughly so look i don't know why they're just not going to just say it's equal day equal night you know i mean they just really want to fucking confuse children today you know um so they claim uh in 2019 2019 is the year we are going into that it will be on the 20th march 20th look how every year it's always march 20th right so they claim all right so time okay I have no idea why there should be a time there all right so let's go back over here let's see the equinox all right equinox, equinox. excuse me Ick. Ick. equinox Ick. Ick. equinox equinox Ick. i can't say that Equinox. Can't say that. All right. So when we understand uh, the equinox, equal day and equal night, uh, then we find when the equinox is. All right. So we go with uh, when the equinox date is for 2019. Of course, like it's going to say 20th, right? So okay, if we deal with March 20th of 2019, we open up a calendar. We, we open up a calendar. Okay, so here we have, let's go up. No, I wouldn't think, okay, down. See, I would think down would be backwards. I, I see, whatever. All right, so let's say March 20th is the equinox. So then we would be looking at 14 days. So that would take us one Two, you see how this is going to go, right? Three, right? Four, it's very easy for us, right? Ten. Let's do that again. Starts on March 20th. Next day is one, right? One, two, ten, right? Am I doing that right? So that's ten days. So there's 31 days in March. So that's one, two, three, four. 
So that's 14 days, two weeks. 14 days after the 20th. So our Hebraic Habaru, whatever you want to call it, Yasherite Israelite Passover in Utah would be April 3rd. So, let's go with April 3rd right now, and we will double, triple, and quadruple check the whole way through. So, we want Akron to Parowan, and we want to be there by April 3rd. See how you go forward here instead of backwards? See how that's backwards from the other calendar? Stupid point. So I want to be there April 3rd. So I would think that it would be a two or three day bus trip. So I would probably want to leave. Let's see what happens if I leave on the 31st. And let's say I want to return. It would be April 3rd through the 10th. And then I would return, I guess, the 11th. Let's see. Look at that. $195. Round trip right now for one person. That's from that's from the center of no, we're not in the center. That's from Northeast Ohio. Look at that. So let's see. I would leave Akron at eight PM and it would take two days. It wouldn't even take three days, it would take two days. So look, they're telling me if I left Monday, it would be five bucks cheaper. So get that. That is $95 each way. I, let, I still get there two days later. I get there 41 hours, blah, 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 right? Remember, your ancestors had to walk or ride in carriages. What's a bus? It's a coach. It's a carriage. I know that's not the greatest thing, everybody. It's better than nothing. We go back to book a trip. Let's say let's just hit the back button. Let's say instead of from Akron. Let's say I come coming from, say I watch, and I'm coming from New York, and I'm going to Parowan, and I want to be there by the 3rd, so I'll leave on the 1st, and it'll be to the 10th, so I'll leave on the 11th. See how many days it takes and all this. Look at this shit. New York is farther away. And the tickets are cheaper. I'm offended. I'm just, I'm just effing offended. I, I, I. Hey, look at that. If you live in New York. Okay, here's... Um, 170s, uh, it's like 80, 80 needs 160, ooh, no, 85, 85, 85, 170, $85 each way. Four months to save up that money. It is not that far away, yet it is not tomorrow. It is not next week, it's not even a month away, that's a good amount of time. 
put away some money. If you have 200 bucks right now, you could you could you could book it. I told you talk to people that are in your state, find out who's in your state. You guys could all come together. You guys could split the gas costs. You, you got the car, I'll pay for the gas. You got the car, I pay for food. Don't make a bunch of promises that that you have to, you know, you know, crush you later. You know, uh, you know. I didn't know you were gonna stop twelve times to eat. You know, you know. Be for each other, if you can. You know, I'm not saying take your car and, and go pick up twelve people and, and and pay for everything. You know, or anything like that. You know, just eat, do what you can for each other. You know, if there's people that have problems trying to get here, let me know, and I'll see who I can connect you with. I'll see how well donations are going, and see if see if I can get you there. You know, myself. You know, um, I really want people to be able to to come together. You know, um, I know there's plenty of people that don't care for my personality, but like what's 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 being taught, and like the direction of things. And that's fine. That's great. We we sh we certainly need somebody to step forward and be like the 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 public, you know, uh, persona. You know, um, one person can't do everything. You know, uh, so. If you live in, uh, let's see, Richmond, Virginia, you want to get there. So no matter what, Greyhound's going to haul butt. It's going to be two days, right? So no matter where you live, right? It's 160. It's cheaper than Ohio. I can't believe they, look how they, how they do you in the heart of it all, all right? Two days. Hey, you can take another one. It takes three days. It costs more. Look at that. It's cheaper and faster if you take the two days. If you live in Virginia, I mean, so look again. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to associate tasks for people. I got twenty five emails from from I believe mainly single men. It said, hey, what, whatever you need, let me know. I need you to show up. I need you to put your Babylonian life on hold and show up. You need everybody to be pleasant. If it's all of our people there, and we can't blood test people and tell who's who and who's not, just be humble to each other. Just be straight, humble to each other. You know? So if you live in the Washington area, all right, let's look what it, four corners, right? From the four corners to the four corners. <laughs> 136 bucks. I mean, that's kind of a lot because it's the same side of the country. Yeah, you know, I, I got to admit that's kind of a lot. Right, so I should have my calculator out because I'm a, an idiot, right? So, uh, 136, uh, what is that? 60-some, uh, 65 each? No, 63 each? No, no, 66, 36 each. No, 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 I said that wrong. 66. Let's just get that calculator. Just, I'm horrible. I want, I, I, I want the public school. And, uh, one, three, six divided by, that's $68 both ways. I should be embarrassed, but I could tell you all my math teachers, they should be embarrassed, right? All right, so, if you live in L.A., even Vegas, let's do Vegas since that came up first. 
You live in Vegas and you're going Greyhound one state over. 29 bucks. Both ways for 25, 29 bucks. Look at that. That's fuck. That's what? 1450 both ways. You can go to the pass over 1450. Think about that. How long does that take? Four hours for you. You, you could go to the Passover, get muddy, go home for a couple of days, come back. No, I'm just playing. I mean, you could at least go home for a day and come back and shower if you want. I mean, even if you stay seven days straight, you know, if, you know, it's a couple hours to your home, you know. Um, I mean, it takes you to Parowan. I mean, that is where the land is located. You, you can't beat that. All right. So you come from Los Los Angeles or somewhere in that vicinity. Again, there are all kinds of connecting routes you know, that are going to take you to these main hubs. Um, you know how wired up the country is. How much is it from Los Angeles? There you have it. 65 bucks both ways. Can't beat that. I mean, it's California. It's like a state and a half away. That that's that's kind of a it's kind of a stiff price. But in this, and then you wouldn't even have to go that day again. This takes how long? Ten hours? Eleven hours? It's an eleven hour drive that way. <clears throat> Look at this. Ten hours on that one. Nine and a half on that one. So you know, again, you're not going to be on there two two days. But you know, it'll get a little button on. You know, and you you never know. You you, you in, invest in that one. It could be, it could say it, it's it's long because of the transfers. You you have no idea. Let's say uh, say Minneapolis. No, let's uh, let's do Wisconsin. You live in Wisconsin. We did California, we did Seattle, 173. You got the New York price, all right? So if you live in Wisconsin, you get the New York price, all right? Takes 42 hours, right? Two days. All right, so Florida. Let's say uh, you live in Miami. Milwaukee, Mama. Let's say you live in Miami. Two hundred bucks, okay? You're getting you're getting a little bit more than the Ohio price. You're coming from the bottom of Florida. What do they say? Three days. So you know, think about it. It's a three-day trip. Two hundred bucks, hundred each way. If you come from, uh, let's see, somebody's got to live in Nashville, right? Take a junction over to Nashville. You get the Ohio, oh no, you get the New York price. You get the New York price. Two days. 39 hours. So, look, you can pick this city, man. Um, say you live in Pittsburgh. Let's say you live in Philly. Philly's further. Philly's closer to, uh, to New York. All right? It's a little bit more distance. 165 you, you get a great price right so everybody sees it's it's not there's no price on here that kills you you wait a week till the event it's gonna be 300 something bucks it's gonna be 400 bucks
Why is it saying PH and I typed in K? Come on, wake up. Illinois, I didn't do Chicago. We'll do Kansas City, Montana. I mean, Missouri. You live in Missouri? I saw I saw one of the uh, posts. There's like three, at least four people in Missouri. 134 bucks. Right? 65 each way. How long does it take? It takes one day. Look, they say if you go, it takes one day. It's a 25-hour trip. If you go, if you book on the second. Look how much you save, right? Fucking Geico, right? I switched to Geico with it, right? I switched my day. I saved eight bucks. All right, Chicago. Say you live in Chi Town. Chi Town, right? There you go. You live in Chicago, it's 163. So again, Ohio and in, in Florida in Miami, Florida takes it the hardest. Again, you don't have to wait till uh, let's see. Getting weird on me. All right, so Baton Rouge, Shreveport, oh, L, Slide, Slide L. Live in Slide L. Your name is Arthur. <laughs> Oh, wow, they're evil. Look at what they do to you guys, man. Two, two, three. That's a lot of dough. All right, so if you live in Slido, two, two, three. Oh. It's 111 bucks each way. You know, um, oh, this thing's all clicky jittery, ain't it? All right, so you see how they treat you when you live in certain places around the country, right? All to get to Parowan. I mean, Louisiana ain't that damn far. I mean, you know, so I'm sure other people, uh, there's got to be a lot of stops in Texas, right? So, let's see, Tyler. So if you're coming out of Tyler, Taylor, no available routes. Look at how sweet that is. That's great. So okay. So. Austin's pretty popular. Let's see if you come out of Houston, Dallas. I don't, I don't know if we got people in Dallas, right? Fort Worth. Let's see, Center, Houston. Learn how to spell. So if you're coming out of Houston,
156. All right, so uh, there you kind of have it. You know, everybody knows how to use their phones and stuff, you know, Greyhound. You know, and then you just start. Again, this is Greyhound North for whatever reason. Um, maybe that has to do with when I put in southern cities and the, and the price is high. Um, uh, don't quite know. Um, now, if you have a vehicle, um, and you drive a lot, you probably already know how, how much, uh, or, or have some kind of estimation. Um, but there's a lot of, uh, trip calculators out there. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I actually drive a lot, but, uh, I, I never really use, uh, these trip calculators for fuel. Uh, so if I say I'm going from Akron uh, and I say I'm going to Cedar City, let's just say Cedar City. Of, of course, I know I'm going to Parowan. Uh, I'll just do it anyway. All right. So I'm going to pick... Uh, car SUV uh, I'll just pick up something simple edit your fuel efficiency uh, let's say I get uh, 28 miles a gallon highway uh, Gas, let's say gas is uh, $2 a gallon right now. Okay, so Sorry, the toll calculator is temporarily unavailable. Okay, so that one just took a dive on us. Uh, so this is AAA. Let's see how this one goes. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't use these. So where are you going? Select a location. You can only scroll. Let's go Cleveland, Ohio, since they only gave me three. To, and then I'm selecting a destination. I'm going to Utah. So Washington, I believe, is down in the south. So look, look at that. They give me two two options for Utah, right? So what kind of car do you have? I got a Pinto, man. Boom, 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 boom. Wake up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what do we have? Oh, man. It's getting a little personal, right? It's way too personal. Next thing I'm gonna ask for my plates and shit. So, it is estimated by taking our vehicle, it will cost us roughly three hundred. Let's let's. I drove a van for a year and a half. I cannot tell you. Every day I had a destination. I cannot tell you how many wrong turns I made. I, I, so many wrong turns. So let's, 
let's definitely say it'd be 300. So, although it is uh, not uh, as comfortable, it's cheaper for one person, right? And again, I will be going, I believe my whole family's going. Um, I will be going for buttocks deep. So it will be worth it. Again, if four people had to take a bus from one location, that would be $800 from Akron. And for the three of us to pile into a vehicle, it will be $300. Um, now, if I said I was driving from... <laughs> hey, so I'm not going to do this for an hour. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to pick a couple places. All right. Yeah, that's funny. Right. <laughs> I'm driving from Alaska. Ah. So let's say I drive from Jacksonville. Oh, I'm just going to reset the. All right. So let's say I'm going to Utah, Washington. Um, I don't know what other people drive, so I'm going to pick Lamborghini. Uh, let's say, let's say people are in the Fords, right? And then, and, um, they're in the, like, uh, Fords, it's, it's whatever. Let's say, let's say they got a pickup. All right. So, it it calculates if you have a vehicle like a truck, and you're going to be carrying stuff. It will run you about five hundred in gas. Let's say you're a better driver than me, it'll be about 500 in gas. Let's see, you make some mistakes, it'll be about five, anywhere from 550 uh, up. Because, you know, you never know what kind of mistakes you're going to get. Um, I don't know what all this shit is, right? Oh, yeah. All right, the gas price. So the national average is $2.30. So, what am I going to print the page for? If you're wrong, am I going to make you pay more? <laughs> uh, so, you know, let's say you're coming from Washington. Let's go Seattle, Washington. You are going uh, Utah. And let's say you've got a Ford, and let's say you got an Escape, your Explorer, Expedition, Escape, whatever, yeah, Escape, Hybrid. Let's say you're cool on the Hybrid. It's 31 per, per gallon. All right, it's going to cost you $230 to take a family uh, in the car. Let's say you're up in New York, uh, New Jersey, New York. Look, I'm not doing New Jersey because New York is just as far. Albany's, Albany's really kind of closer to New York City, but they got New York City right there. All right, so let's say you're doing New York and you're going that far. And let's say you've got a Honda. All right, and you like to, oh, I got to pick the year first. You got to, you know, I got you got a 2006 Accord. All right. Really? Damn. Okay, so Honda Accord is going to bring you right 31 per mile. All right. It's going to bring you round trip 411 bucks. Um. Again, I don't know what family cars you're using. Again, look. This has to do with what this car can do, right? National average versus how many miles per gallon you get per, versus how far of distance you're going. If I take the Honda Accord, the same Honda Accord, and uh, next to Utah is... Uh, it's 
let's go, let's say you're going from Reno. Reno's in the northern area, I believe, right? Yeah. I'm just going to say, yeah. Uh, agree with myself and make myself feel correct. Yes, that's where it's at. Dumb. All right. So the same, same car, same mileage, right? Cost you 111 round trip. All right. We already know from Vegas, it's what would they say? Four hour trip on bus. So, you know, I don't, you know, they got Vegas right there. Let's do it again. And Vegas goes, the, the bus route goes directly to it, right? Yeah. Same car, four hours on a bus, cost you 23 bucks. See, see what's going on? It's about the miles. There's the miles right there. 200 miles, 23 bucks, right? 10, 10 bucks every 100 miles, right? Some shit like that. So let's say you are in, uh, come on, we got it, right? You see these, this is AAA. It's not going to be hard to find that site. Um, you can read up on the Passover. <clears throat> Again, the Passover is written about in a uh, Bible. All right. Um, Holy Convocation. Convocation. You know, us grouping together, you know, calling us to for, for a formal assembly. All right. So a large formal assembly. All right. So, again, when... So, done in accordance with the rules of convention or etiquette. All right? Right? Consisting of an official or important situation or occasion. Ceremonial, right? So, again, um, we'll be in a camping atmosphere will be you know in a in a in a wilderness setting I, I believe I strongly believe when we look at the equinox 2019 on the 20th Fourteen days after would be the third, and on the fifteenth be the fourth, and then seven days after the fourth. Ooh, sorry, excuse me. Seven days after the fourth makes it the eleventh. Unleavened bread, seven days. Feast of Unleavened Bread is the day after the Passover. Okay? So I'm going to say this again so people don't have any confusion. It will be April 3rd. Alright? 2019. Doesn't matter if you're there on the 1st, 2nd. Doesn't matter, but that's the actual date from Passover. So, when you look at Passover here, it says it should be the 19th through the 27th. I, 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 I am, I, am I looking at this right? The equinox, they tell you, they, 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 like, like, just really quick. I want to double check, right? Reverse math, because they say the 19th. So if we go to April 19th, right? And we go two weeks from that, 14 days, that April 5th, Right? 
would be what they are claiming the equinox is. Because the, no, I'm not trying to click it a bunch to confuse you, because they say the in the first month on the 14th day, The first month is marked by the equinox. Equal day, equal night. That is the new year. That's why everything's in bloom. Nobody gives birth to a baby that looks old. Trees look old right now. It's December 25th. Trees are in a dead or dying state. They have no leaves, they have no yield, no fruit right now, but in spring, the fruit starts to what? Once the leaves bud, the, the fruit starts to flower and then form. This is, this is why, right? So it's 14. 14 days, then the Passover, then from the next day, which would be the 15th day of the month, for seven days. This isn't a riddle, we just look at it again. So, from what they're saying, this fifth should be equinox. Then 14 days from that is the 19th. And then April 19th through, what they say, the 27th? Right? Eight days. But clearly when you type in equinox and understand what it is, even though they don't give you a clear understanding, the equinox is in March on the 20th. And then 14 days from the 20th, Puts us on the third, being the Passover is on the third, and then the fourth is the, the day, the feast of unleavened bread for seven days. So seven days from the fourth would be here, Doo -doo -doo, the eleventh. So Passover the third, feast of unleavened bread for seven days ends on the eleventh ends with a, a, a great holy convocation. Starts with a great holy convocation, ends with a great holy convocation. Or a formal event, formal event. So, now, unleavened bread, that is food cooked without leaven. And we will get to that stuff another day. I've held your time for an hour. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the donations that you've given. If you'd like a shirt, uh, email me through goldenisraelite at gmail. And what we do is we donate $25 for a shirt or for a headband through PayPal, leaving our address, and we get those out to you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, it's best to leave them publicly, and then a lot of people can, you know, form other questions from your questions. Uh, if you have questions that you feel are private, you know, just email me, and, and we'll discuss those things. Uh, I encourage people to... to be on their, their, their most humble behavior with each other, you know, because no one's ever attempted to call you from the four corners. I want you to think about that. There's been no time in history where it's been applicable for our people. Not let's leave the country, not let's go do this or, you know, have a party. Let us go back unto our Creator. 
Shalom.